guys, welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews. I'm your host, John Mafio, and today's featured movie seems to be an Oscar buzzy type of movie. Or, I mean, that's just my opinion and instinct, but I mean, it's all over the place, just look at this poster. Today's featured movie is Spotlight. It has an array of cast members, including Michael Keaton, Mark Ruffalo, Rachel McAdams, and Stanley Tucci. Now, this is based on a true story and it revolved around the Boston Globe in 2001. The Boston Globe newspaper, they had a little subdivision of people who used to work on invest or still do and work on investigations over the course of whatever time is needed, and they developed stories over the course of years, decades, until they were fully ready to go out to the public. You know the whole thing with kids being molested by priests? It was a big, serious issue. Huh? But now it was getting really serious because this group was starting to find clips and um, little investigative evidence that this is bigger than just a couple priests. It was a lot of them. So this movie is about this team from Spotlight trying and attempting to actually get this like news out there to the public. But it turns out it's not so easy to do that when the Catholic Church is like a really formidable opponent. Huh? History is very important. Like history, having the knowledge of history is very integral to uh, intelligence, in my opinion anyway. Um, but this film does shed light, spotlight, <laughs> the world is pretty messed up and there are things that go on every day that people don't talk or think about and this film is basically shedding light on something that took place for years and years and years, but didn't get any sign of attention, like real sign of attention, until this investigative team actually went and did something about it. If there's a couple things that are very important to journalism, it's credibility and accuracy. You want your articles to be credible and accurate, because otherwise you lose reputation. It is important to stay true for the most part to the story because then the movie also will lose credibility but it seems like they did a good job of really showing these people as human and seeing what they went through the trials and tribulations of trying to get this word out there but it just wasn't working for a while and like the frustration seemed pretty genuine all the performances in the film are really good is there any like people who actually stand out no mark ruffalo specifically has a couple scenes that are i guess you could say very resume worthy, worthy of like being put in like a demo reel. Their performances work in conjunction with the story because the story seems to very much focus on the journalism aspect of this. Like the film feels like it belongs in journalism because journalism is very fast paced, is very like high octane. People are always talking, people are always trying to get the newest information out there. The film feels like it belongs in the newsroom. It's very, very atmospheric in terms of that and it's perfect. Most of the movie is investigative details, and it makes you feel like you are with them trying to uncover and unravel this mystery. The overall story as a whole is compelling. I wouldn't say there's like any hills or valleys, like there's no real roller coaster aspect of the film. Yes, you do have moments where the emotions and stakes are high, and it causes characters to like um, show outrage with their frustrations, but there's like on like a story level, I wouldn't say this points where it hits like really highs or really lows, it just stays consistent throughout and in a way, it makes the movie kind of forgettable. It makes it a very um, compelling experience to watch because of the story, but I feel like after a one time watch, you may not want to watch it again unless you're either trying to learn something for an upcoming essay at college or because you were forced to, maybe by a teacher or something. I don't think this is a movie that people are going to go out there and watch um, willingly after it comes out. It's probably going to get Oscar buzz. People are going to watch it then, but after this year, I can't see people really find this movie relevant again. Like, it never goes over the top or bombastic with its tone. And in a way, that's a compliment because some movies don't have to have those bombastic moments. But at the same time, this movie is like missing something to make it truly special. Spotlight's going to get the 3.5 out of 5 star treatment. It's a darn good Applebee's meal. Definitely see it if you get the chance, but don't rush to see it. It's probably going to get Oscar buzz, though. Oh, no! It's got good performances, a really compelling story, and it just nails down the tone of a newsroom. You feel like you were there doing the work with them. And whether you want to feel like you're at work is based on how you enjoy your own movies, but I think it's actually something that you could experience and actually enjoy. Now I want to know from you guys. What did you think of Spotlight if you've seen it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video from me ever again. Also check out my Facebook and Twitters in the info box. I'm John Mafio, aka Mothman Jones, and I'll see you guys next time.